Okay. You just tell me, you know, to, when to advance. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, I teach third grade and I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know, somewhat new to, I guess, doing social emotional learning every day. Um, but it's, it's really been a priority this year for us where it's been built into our master calendar, which is our master schedule, I guess, which has just been awesome. Um, a introductory, um, what empathy unit, if you will. So just three days and there's obviously lessons that'll come after them, but, um, for those three days, sorry, my dogs are just going bananas <laughs> over here. Um, for those three days, it's, it's really introductory. Um, so it'll start with, go ahead and click over to the next slide for me. Um, it starts with the definition from, um, of empathy that we use at our school and really just, you know, having students turn and talk what they think that means. Um, even at third grade, it's, it's incredible how many students that still struggle with empathy. Um, and even just identifying basic emotions, um, you know, with the number of students on the spectrum or that have, you know, ADHD, ADD, um, my own son included, um, he's 14 and he still struggles at times kind of reading how I'm doing with my day where it's, it's very evident, I guess, to me, how others are feeling. Um, so particularly at third grade and younger, um, I think this will be a really good lesson. Um, and the first kind of day really just dives into having students recognizing emotions. So if you want to click through the next few slides to get the gist of it, um, the first day is a game, you know, an activity, but really just called guess the emotion that I thought of. And I pulled a whole bunch of photos of individuals online. Um, and the students, you know, I'll give them like 30 seconds to a minute and they really just turn and talk and kind of talk their way through what emotion they think that person is feeling and then why. So initially it's very student led, um, kind of going through that investigation and then we can come back together and talk about why a student felt, you know, why was this gal feeling relaxed? What made her you know, feel relaxed? Um, and then if we had differences of opinions, we can obviously talk about that. So really open-ended discussion, which is kind of my thing in the classroom. And then, so that's day one, um, day two takes it a step further and it only focuses on people's eyes. So I called it I spy emotions and it, again, just photos and I cropped it so that it's people's eyes only. So really trying to highlight that emotions can be really small. It doesn't have to be a big gesture. It can just be hiding in someone's eyes. So if you want to click through those real quick, you can. Uh, so these are a bit more challenging for students, but it creates a really good visual, at least at third grade. And it's, it's very engaging for students. Um, in our day, this is at the very beginning of the day after we go over our schedule. Um, so again, just helping students identify those emotions through those small kind of visual cues. And they can go which back. Which is really neat. So it creates also. a lot of good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So a lot of fun discussion with the kids. It's, it's a very accessible activity, very accessible lesson for everyone of all you know, ages, all ranges. Um, so day one is the whole phase. Day two is eyes. And then day three is just kind of scenarios, if you will. So there's not a visual cue to go with it. It's really just a situation. Um, so students have to identify how that person is feeling, building on kind of what they could see in the first two days and kind of turn and talk about what they think that situation would be. So this is having students put themselves into a scenario, which is great. If you want to click through those, that would be awesome. And again, really just easy, open-ended kind of situations that students can relate to. So, um, you know, this one's about a student reading aloud and it's, it's challenging for someone. So how would that make them feel? Um, situations that we're all pretty accustomed to as teachers in the classroom, um, but that students can all relate to as well. So really easy kind of first three-day introduction and then we can kind of deep, dive deeper into it as we go along. But I thought it was a good, really engaging activity for the first three days. So I hope you enjoy. So, yeah, it's just like, you know, you're going through that and it really gets the kids to experience their empathy powers on different levels right so one is just you know is the recognition of of you know of faces another is you, that you can be conscious and really focus on people's eyes and the next one is to think of the, of the different situations i think that's um I, I think this could be used for a lot of different grade levels 